Welcome back everybody to another video here on Archive Gaming. This is Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14 and uh, we are playing the Rise of Liu Kui scenario. So before I get into this one, something I want to throw out there in case anybody knows. So I was going over the update notes and I saw that under the update notes, under unification, they had posted something on the Koei's website. Uh, it was called Grand Grand Invasion of Outlanders, something like that. So I was wondering if anybody knows what that means because uh, it kind of sounded like it's right on, and it's right under the bullet point where it says. You know, they added Grand Unification, which we've already seen that. But there was one that's called Outlander Grand Invasion. Or Unification, something like that. It kind of... It kind of hints to... Like, based on the wording, it's called Outlander's Grand Invasion Functionality. That's what it's called. So, it kind of hints, based on the wording... Because I don't know. But it sounds like some kind of attack from all the Outlanders. Perhaps at once. So, I don't know if anybody's had that occur in their file or they know anything about that. Uh, leave me a comment below because I'd be real interested to know. Part of me is kind of hoping that there is something like that that was added to where maybe all these Outlander guys kind of invade... Once you're like the last power left or something like that or once you're close to the end game Maybe they all attack you and they all invade and you have to fend them, you know drive them all back I don't know I don't know if anybody's gotten there to the late game yet to see it if it happens or not, but Needless to say it is mentioned in the update. So That's the only place that I saw it mentioned. I, I spent a few minutes looking through the the uh uh, table of contents in the game and there's no mention of it. There's just unification. There's a new tab for unification, but nothing for that. So um, Yeah, I'd be real interested to see if anybody knows what that means because I'm kind of hoping that it is true because that'd be kind of cool uh, If the outlanders do come out and try to invade your cities and stuff and you have to drive them back or eliminate them um, That could be a lot of fun at least for a few playthroughs, I could see it being kind of a slog once you've already done it a few times. But, you know, it could be a nice little wrinkle to add to the end game. And, um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So, still fighting on a bunch of fronts here. Okay, I think we're withdrawing some of our forces, but the rest are coming back. Yeah, we are. Okay, great. And then over here, we're harassing Sun Quyan. That city there. And then more importantly, we, we should be able to take out Liu Shang. So, let's see. Last video, uh, Meng Da got the MVP for pretty much really hampering Zhang Ren's fighting capability. So we were able to finally route him. Oh, and there goes Yuan Shu. That's right, Yuan Shu was one couple hits away from going. Okay, so we're gonna get him back in there so we can send him back out in a uh, tower formation. What is she doing? I have no idea. Focus damage, okay. Wow, we need to extend our alliance with uh, with Zhang Xu if we haven't already. He's got 26k. He's been building up. He's been able to kick back and just build up his forces. Oh, I think we just renewed it. Okay, so we're good. Seven, four months. Let's let's get his extended. Uh, let's see if we can do two years. 
Okay. And then he wants you got eliminated. Who got the city? Oh, Salsa got the city. That's pretty lame. I, we really it would have been nice for it to go to Liu Bei so Liu Bei could start fighting with Sun Quan. I mean, Cao Cao will start to fight with Sun Quan anyway, right? So I guess it's okay either way, but Cao Cao and Liu Bei are allied. I should say that. So they're working together right now and they might be for the foreseeable future, who knows? Okay, so we should have an opportunity to poach some of those officers. Okay, so let's get them on here, and then once they take the port, they can start to uh, rebuild. Okay. Yeah, so a grand invasion by the Outlanders. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, man, that would be... Um, if it's what I think it is, if it's what I hope it is... That's going to be amazing. It's going to be a, a heck of a late game. Even though they can't really do too much damage. Unless they're able to recruit officers or something. Because they only have 10. So it's not like they're going to be able to topple you right but especially late game but you know it could set you back a bit if they're able to recruit officers who knows maybe it could really pose a threat I don't know okay let's get a let's get a siege tower start start sending it out because Start encroaching on his territory already. Let's see, maybe about there. Now let's see if we can draw out his forces early. Okay, then we have another 8,000. So we should. Let's see if we, who we can call over to help us out here. This attack. Oh, we just have two guys. Ooh, it's the time for Liu Kui to return back to the front. Hmm. The answer is almost certainly no. Call this guy's Hedo's Tower. Wow, that leadership is low. 27. Why does he know tower? Okay, let's see who else. 14. Ram. Uh, CE formation. Hmm. Okay, maybe we will call him up then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get the boy back. Okay. So we're doing on supplies. So far what I know in the game is that there's a small unification and then um there's a grand unification. But, like I said, the functionality is called Outlander's Grand Invasion. So, I haven't seen any, like, outside of that, on the website, there, like I said, there's no mention of its existence. So, hoping it is a thing, and I'm hoping that it, it is a cool thing. It's not, you know, one of those things that sounds alright and then it's just a big nothing. Okay. Let's see if he deploys 
Last time I was in a similar situation with him and uh, he deployed his little units. He deployed a couple K units and was still able to drive me back somewhat. Of course he's gonna heal some people. That's okay, we'll charge a crossbow. I mean a crossbow, a godbow. We'll charge that up, get ready to hit the city with it once Mangda's a little bit closer. Also guys, uh, I will be having a live stream on Saturday at noon, so... You can expect that video to be a little bit longer. If you're gonna catch it on YouTube later, it should be about two hours. I usually try to go for two, maybe two and a half. Okay, let's get a bit closer. Within, just outside the city reach. Okay. You can do the same thing. Okay. Really expect them to play any part in this, but okay. There we got a thousand twenty-three. We probably need to move these guys up already. I guess once we take Zitong, assuming all goes well. Okay, let's have them both split up. Hmm. Yeah, you can. Okay, let's see what he does to that. 37,000. Oh boy. He's certainly outpacing me. You want you to join Liu Bei? All right. Well, what a strange, strange world. You guys think he's uh, weaving mats for Liu Bei? Because uh, he's working for Liu Bei, so it's pretty much upside down world at this point. Okay, let's check our suggestions. Sabotage. Doo -doo -doo. Raise morale. Let's do that. Definitely. So he's been on the field for a while already. Okay, let's see. Not the recruitment, guys. Get rid of all those. Okay. Supplies, we should be all right in. 100,000. Wow, 100,000. Okay, I'm thinking, I don't know if it's a little bit too premature, but I'm going to start moving a transport up. Let's see. I'm thinking once we get Zitong, we'll want to keep pushing, take both gates, and then uh, reinforce by Shui Gate if we can. Oh, there goes Zhang Lu again. I don't know what to do with Zhang Lu. I don't know if we should let's go this far or also take Hang Zhang. I don't know. By 24. Whew. I was getting pretty low.
Necessary from the south side. Of course. For sure, he'd deploy already, but he's not. <laughs> okay, I can tell you right now, one of the problems that we might have is that he might take by Shui Gate if I eliminate Liu Zhang now. Oh, that's gonna be tough because these officers might be free in that territory if he takes them. I'm gonna lose whatever officer is there. Oh, which is only her. Okay, well that... That certainly makes me feel better. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and attack it then. Um... It's just a name. Let's see. Let's see. I'm actually thinking that maybe I should bring the tower in last. Okay, I Sabotage proposals, train, no. Uh, no. Okay. See if we can recruit anybody. You want know, to choose force? All the Yuans, huh? He's pretty good, Yuan Yuan. Um. Take the chances. Okay. See if we can improve relations with Liu Bei. It's pretty important. We almost got those two built. Ah, okay. I was wondering if he was going to do that. Okay, so they're going to head towards them. Not a good prospect because Taishi, you see, he's overpower these guys by himself easily but it might allow us to drive into his lands over here somewhat question is how do we do it I think we still try to split him up again so let's send Zou Kang over it and let's have Zhao Yi move up a few squares And then let's get our uh, somebody out in goose formation. Probably Huang Zhu. Although Huang Zhu can come out in can come out in ring, and that's pretty good too. Maybe Yonkai. Yeah, let's do Yonkai. And Snake actually. There's quite some some mountainous terrain and all that around here. So, oh, this is all swamp. Okay. Oh, he's not going to get a bonus there. Only around the mountains. Hmm. We'll go Crane, we're really sacrificing some of our... Well, maybe Huang Zhu's the right call then. Okay, but don't use Wild Shot because that's like... Interesting, but it's not very useful... ...in this situation, so... Actually, let's give him something else. I don't know what, but... He doesn't even have another skill that he could put in that slot, really, so... Hmm. 
for now he knows he can use charge and chu kodu so let's go with uh i guess fire arrows would be the obvious one okay so let's send them out with some in a goose formation still quite a bit of a march but don't really like running goose all the way across like this but we have the time I think right now since he's deployed these two guys and it seems like they're gonna head this way they might try to wrap around I'm not sure we have time where we can you know we can see it's not gonna be it shouldn't be too late or anything like that what I'm thinking too okay I've got these two guys here they've been recruiting and training forever for my forces I'd honestly like to pull both of them to help me out over there especially uh, Fu Kuang he's so I'm gonna pull him over hopefully the drilling doesn't take such a, a big hit let me see also let's pull her over I mean she's she's got a good trait she's got that buff trait she buffs all male units and her, my intent was to use her here but you know, because of the logistics, uh, Zitong is so far away. I was never really able to use her. And that's the thing about this uh, romance. I guess these newer... Uh, also, Nobunaga's ambition has always had this problem. Uh, but these newer romances, for sure. The problem, and it's not really a problem. I guess it's a good problem to have of just having so many officers that they've added throughout the years they really filled up the ranks so you it's hard to make time for everybody you know it's really difficult if you have your own little favorites and stuff like that it's it's hard to make time for them if you're not somebody who's just like i need to play you know i need to play the same uh you know the best guys every time and and that's it then it's kind of tough to find room for the other guys because you know there's a lot of there's a ton of them so it's very easy to forget can he hit the city or he's, he's not close enough I think he's got to be right next to them actually got to move it a little bit closer Right up up there, that should work. Wow, 4,000. I think, I think Huang Zong just stripped away any capability of him deploying. Wow, that was... That was ugly. Okay, let's have him relay there and attack and uh, there's no sense in having these guys get close and just get hit with arrow fire so should start moving uh, him out to start get ready to take the gates and all that over there Okay, yeah, so it looks like he is gonna... Yonda? He is gonna head this way then. Makasete. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. He might still be working his way down the coast. Okay, in either case, we still have time, so... Let's build, let's see, if I put it here... Uh, it's not really gonna help too much. 
Why don't we just go take Wu Chang? Why don't we try to go take Wu Chang? Okay. And let's transport these guys over. Once Liu Zhang is uh, out of the picture, I'll have to really start to think about what the next step is. Because I've been focused so long on just defending this front and trying to eliminate this guy that I haven't really thought too much about what to do after that. And, um, you know, because my force is painted across the map like this, um, I do really have some options. Which way to try to advance next. It might take another. Might take one more turn after this one. The tower's not there yet. Okay, well, we need to send her back out. Um, oh, we don't have enough soldiers. Okay, that's... Our main base? Oh, the gate. Okay. Oof, okay, so he is... He did come around. To, okay. I don't know why this guy would just send Taishi C like that. That's kind of silly. I think you'd send him with some backup. She's on her way up there. Might, might want to back up Huang Zhu. I don't want him to... Uh, he's in Goose formation. I don't want him to get caught there. So, And then let's get another unit out in front. Okay, he's actually... He's Sen Yong Kai, I guess. He's better for it. Better suited. Okay. And then... Charge and Disorder, those two will both work. One lowers morale, which if his supply gets cut, he is going to take a morale hit. Okay. Actually, deploying all these units, he might bring more people to the fight now. He sees my uh, city's been emptied a little bit more. Forty-four. Right, he's deployed, so it's kind of half as effective. Okay, so should be able to take it this turn. Let's uh, check employment before I end it. This is the guy who was all the way down at 69. He still, still wouldn't... 60... 9 or 68, I think. And he still wouldn't join. So I don't think that's going to change very much.
Okay, there's the tower. I should that should put it over the edge. Alright, we got Liu Zhang, yes. Finally got some officers. A quest for officers. Look at that. Okay. We have a few traders to take care of. It. Everyone else we can try to uh, recruit. Okay, Kaima, we're gonna execute. He's a traitorous bastard. And um, I was going to execute my former advisor, but that's mostly my fault. Uh, I do not want to welcome him back, though. Really don't. I'm just going to banish him. All right, we'll prison the rest. Wait for them to come around. Yeah, that's the only thing. Unfortunately, we gave them the gate. That might be hell to take back. Hmm. Who knows? It looks like... um. Looks like they're at war with each other up there, so... Maybe I'll just let him keep the gate. Fix our relations with Zhang Lu. Okay, so we gotta start rewarding. Banquets on top of that. Actually, oof, we should have done banquets first. Yeah, I could have gotten a lot of people to a hundred with just the one banquet. Oh, just flushing that money. Okay, let's try to get the key players. Oof, man. I don't know. I'm not even too sure what to do from here. It's kind of a tough call. I mean, obviously, I want to deal with Tsum Kweon. But at the same time, and maybe at the same time, literally, I want to deal with uh, South Tsao. I want to advance into the Central Plains. You know, just, just charge in there and We'll get into some fights. I'd like to do that sooner rather than later. You know, I don't want to take too long. Okay, let's see how all that goes. And uh, let's see if we have a new advisor. Actually, if I got somebody else, I don't know. No, same. Okay. Um, can we search in Zetong? There might be a possibility, maybe, that there's somebody. Let's give it a shot. And then let's start to get some. Actually, how many orders do we have left? We only have three. Oh, let me make sure that. 
Man, we took care of Liu Zhang right just at the right time because he's getting his back lines. He's either getting these two cities are getting bulked up and he's starting to send big stacks of soldiers to the front now. So I'd say it came at the right time. Also, Xi Xie's gotten crushed. His numbers got brought down to earth compared to his now, so. I don't know. I, I guess maybe we'll just have to focus on him. Okay, well, he's been stranded, so. It's time for everybody to uh, dogpile on. Uh, Actually, let me just put him here and wait. And then, okay, we managed to take that, so let's get him back over. Okay. Yeah, because South Cao is not running away with it per se, but he's slowly, you know, eliminating everybody. And he's always the big threat. No matter what, so. Um, the only time he's not the big threat is if you play uh, the Anti-Tong Coalition and he gets knocked out. That's that's the only time I've seen him be a non-factor. So the question is, do we go to war with Jiang Lu or not? I feel like it might be better just to keep him alive and let Ma Teng deal with him. If we take out, Ma, if we take out Jiang Lu and we ally with Ma Teng, it would mean that Ma Teng would concentrate on South Cao though more effectively I don't know I don't know yet I guess I gotta really think it over I like having the options though it's nice to be able to have a little bit of a time to really process okay we can't trade yet got 10,000 let's get these guys out from here So we'll definitely uh, move Liu Zhang's core officers over to our eastern front. And over here, they're going to be put to good use. Public order. To 86, it's not that bad. Hmm. I guess the train and see if there's anybody to recruit outside of these guys I mean over here by uh, Liu Bei and same guys okay let's try to get somebody else okay. No liege, some of these guys don't want to join. Jeez. Pretty sure I told this guy to back off. What? So oh, Kang. Um, hmm, well, whatever it was, it happened very quickly. Uh, he must have, I guess he charged out and he got hit with this tactic. Inflame must have been it. He must have pinged him with Inflame and knocked him out and captured him. Nice. He's fast, he's slippery, that's okay. Kang. Even with all this attacking, we still can't. Okay, so Kang's got him captured, so... You need to... 
work your way back and uh, secure the bag. Okay, we're still building. This guy still hasn't deployed. That is strange stuff. Let's see who's in the city. I'm thinking there can't be anybody that can really fight here. Mm, okay, yeah. We're looking at D tier. That might explain the reluctance to deploy. Because I could probably cut most of those troops down. So we're going to stay put. Now that we know what we know. I don't know if I can build one here. Let's see. It's in two hexes, so... No, I think I'll just wait and let him start building the camp and then if, it, if the game still lets me Then I'll start building on that one Look at this guy racing me Can I march through? Ooh, how disastrous would that be though if I What's march through and then this guy goes and kills me or something in a duel I kind of want to fight this guy Got a thousand. Oof, I'm a lot weaker. Okay. I'm gonna say let him get closer. Right? I don't know if I can march through. Let's see. Because I just don't know. It looks like you can't. It looks like you have to take the gate. But. Definitely throw. Throw some banquets. Burn enemy Luxun. Yeah, we're gonna burn Luxun. Okay. <laughs> Fire this guy. Who signed off on this? Fire him. Yeah, we're gonna burn Luxun. That is not good advice. Let's send Huang Zong to see if he can recruit. Zhang Ren, you know, because they have history. So let's see if they can let bygones be bygones. Yeah, yeah, another one of my favorites. Li Zhang's got some officers that are pretty damn cool. Ooh, let's check our rewards before I keep sending these guys out. Let's get the. Stupid Kai family still. Still got some Kai relatives hanging around even though I murdered their brother. Executed him for treason, I should say. No, it's still not gonna stop them from hanging on to uh, Liu Kui's coattails. Leeches. Total leeches. That that whole family. Okay, you find another cool one. Got some officers here that I've never been able to use in this game. I think I've only ever recruited Liu Zhang's officers, obviously. Uh, I guess in the late game, you know, when you've already kind of wrapped up the your your playthrough. So getting them early is kind of cool Because these guys, you know, these guys are gonna be this is it, you know, if you look at the Looking at the map, right? It's like this is it the next wherever I go in the next big step the combination the core officers is gonna be Liu Biao's officers and Liu Zhang's officers Which is what I wanted It's like a nice um it's a nice set of officers that I'm not too familiar with. And then I get to take them and just phwah, throw them across the map against all these other guys, against the usual suspects, Sun Quayan's core, South South's core, probably Liu Bei's core down the, down the line if he's able to make some gains here. I don't know. But it'll be nice to throw these, you know, the other guys against the Three Kingdoms.
Uh, but first things first, we have to recruit him and keep him. So, yeah. Let's not get too ahead of myself here. And, um, let's see. Um, Okay. Just one more. Let's... Okay, he's not deploying yet. Hopefully, we can capture Taishi C. Hopefully he doesn't get away. She's got capture, like I said, and so does Zhou Kang. And that's why they've been the workhorses over here. Zhou Kang because his capture and his speed, and Zhao Yi because she has some really, really nice tactics. And her formation, ring formation. I, I love ring formation. I wish I could use it more often. Whew, a lot of these guys are turning me down. They're just not yeah, having it. I guess it is, it's going to take a little while to get everybody. Come on. Come on, don't be so sour. Huang Zong is a little bit older, yes, but he's a, he's a wily, crafty veteran. Be impressed. I thought I turned that off. I thought I turned off Wild Shot. Okay, is Okang stuck in the mountains? Oh boy. Arrow formation. Guys, I don't know if you know, but arrow formation sucks in mountains. It is really slow in mountains. It's bad. Okay, so the question is... Okay, so the real question is, do we... Just go back with our prisoner, Hikui, or do we risk it to try to get more... Officers? I think we risk it to try to get better guys. So... Well, we have to be careful because Luke Soon's got that uh, extreme blaze tactic, and it will just wipe everybody off the face of the earth. Especially if my force is all stuck together, it'll just wipe us all out. He's not deploying. Wow, this guy is just—he's got nobody, huh? No confidence here. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can put that tower where I want it to. If we can, we can. Okay, great. So let's put that tower here. We'll finish camping and then we'll move in and see if we can draw out his forces. I don't think he wants to deploy because they're not, uh, he doesn't have, uh, best tier officers. Is he turning around or is he still, is he standing still? It looks like he's standing still. Okay, let's chase some Cheng Dao over there and chase him out. You should be heading back and, uh, yeah, defending yourself, if anything. Oh, our allies moving in. That would be cool if uh, Zhang Xiu can take that. Got no problems with that at all. Uh, let's just do the bottom three. Okay, we're good to trade again. And let's send her again. I can send two people, maybe. I don't really want to send anybody else. I think just, just her. Let's go 2,000. Don't actually want to give them any gold, but... 10,000 supplies. Is that all the supplies we have here? Oh, okay. We can't do that then. 
I'm gonna have to wait. Transport I sent out ages ago is almost here though, so I guess that worked out. Yeah, so I think between this upload and the next one, I'll be uh, I'll take a turn or two just to kind of reorganize my forces because it's gonna take a little bit for me. It's gonna take a little bit of thinking through and stuff and. Uh, I'll do that between the uploads because it's kind of slow. I guess we'll send a few people to try to get Zhang Ren because he's really quite stubborn here, so. Free, that's right, she was in the gate. See if somebody can grab her. The interesting thing is that we have all this territory, but this fight, this thing is not even close to over yet. If anything, all this is just a prelude, you know, just getting set up. Because the real battles, we haven't really even started them yet. We haven't started the great, the big fights. The risky fights. Okay, so we're gonna pull him off. He can link up with him, maybe between the two of them, because he's only got 35. So that shouldn't be killer. We should put somebody else here. Should we try to switch? Let's put Soul Kang back in charge. Let's make him out of uh, One more command. Let's just employ again. Let's see, who do we have this this guy? Okay. Let's see if we can capture him before he gets away. I'm hopeful. Very hopeful. Okay, we got Wulan. Still not coming over. I mean, I know it's pretty much inevitable that they'll join, but it's still exciting, you know, to see my forces grow. It's still great to finally get more officers. It hasn't been too easy. Oh, man, this guy's got to make it difficult for me. He's got to make it difficult. Hope Yon Kai doesn't get murdered here. Oh, they gave him his uh, actual model. That's cool. I didn't know that. Well, he held his own, I'd say. We got him. Okay, looks when it's pushing forward. Oh, they are linked together, so I gotta watch that. Okay, so let's see. I think Zhao Yi is the one who captured him. Most likely, she's our capturer. Oh, no, she doesn't have him. Maybe it was Yonkai. This guy? Downloads got him. 
Okay. That's good for us. We can pull Zaoi to come over here and help us out. Okay, let's have him move back one more heck. These units completely shot. At least he didn't die. Okay, he's finally marched out some units. Okay, let's see. What do we do? Let's... Let's step over here. Actually, no, because we're getting the... Hmm. Yeah, let's step over here. And repair. Let's see if he can put up that tower or not. Fast enough. Okay, and this guy's just running away. Just fine, we'll give chase and then we'll start building all the way up here. I don't want uh, Zhang Lu to start building like crazy there, so... Like Liu Zhang was doing, I don't know if he will or not, but... There's in a few people for Zhang Rang, of course. Ooh, it's a long list. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to end it here, guys. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes on the next one. Hopefully we can... Uh, I have to. I need to reorganize everybody. So I might play one more turn here. Like I said, off camera and start reorganizing everybody. And... Um, yeah, we we'll have to start thinking about what where to expand next. I mean, obviously we're going to keep clashing with Soon Koyan, but do we want to try for to expand in a second direction? Can we afford it? If we really try to push. And if we do, it's going to have to be South South. So, hmm, I'm not sure if that's some, something I want to enter there to fight two of the three kingdoms. I don't know. Could be fun. Definitely be fun. So yeah, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And um, catch you on the next one, guys.